What was banned in your school because of a crazy incident? Don't forget to subscribe for daily Reddit videos. In my middle school, they banned kids from saying. Whoop there it is. Yep, if you said it, you got detention. They banned running at my elementary school. If you ran during recess, you'd be sitting on the bench for the rest of the break. My friend ran into a teacher accidentally while we were playing tag. She didn't fall or anything, but it was probably a bit of a surprise. This prompted Ms. Mean to punish the whole school, so she self-righteously banned running. The next day, Ms. Mean met with all the 5th grade classes to justify her decision. She said people only need 1 hour of exercise a week to be healthy. It was ridiculously stupid. And that's not any sort of justification for the decision. The tension in the room was palpable. My 5th grade teacher just sat at his desk, chuckling at the sheer ridiculous nature of the whole thing. The next day, the entire 4th grade and 5th grade sat down by the play structure for the entirety of recess. When they told us to stop sitting together via megaphone, everyone walked around the perimeter of the kickball field and sang songs together. My friends and I made a ton of flyers to bring back running. While we were handing them out before school, the principal grabbed one. We thought we were in huge trouble. It turns out the principal was never told about this ban on running. Mean old lady was taken off yard duty. I don't think she works at my elementary school anymore. Viva la revolucion. Shaving your head for cancer. To set the scene, I went to a private all-girls school. If you had cancer and lost your hair, I guess they would allow it. But they would make you wear a school colored bandana or a wig. A girl in our year actually had cancer and lost her hair and she wore a bandana to school. As a show of support this alternative girl, think Janice from Mean Girls, decided to shave her head for cancer awareness. The school was all for it. We had a fundraiser and then had the actual shaving of the head at school. She then refused to immediately cover her freshly bald head and was sent home for the day. She then refused to cover her freshly bald head at all because she said it's nothing to be ashamed of, and that's kind of the point of doing it. She was suspended until she agreed to wear a bandana or a wig. Eventually she missed so much school that her parents and the school had a big sit down and in the end she agreed to wear a wig. The next day she turned up in the most ridiculous Florence Henderson wig I've ever seen and it was awesome. And no one was allowed to ever shave their head for cancer again. Edit. It was in Australia, and yes it was a Catholic school. Edda 2, just realized that a good portion of my top comments are related to my schooling in Australia. Never thought it was very eventful or interesting really, until now. Edda 3, oh wow, gold, thank you anonymous matey, smile. Apparently my high school used to have an archery club. For the mentally handicapped students, you kinda see where this is going. Someone got shot with an arrow, greater than archery club band. Boxing gloves. Because a couple of years ago, a few guys started a fight club in one of the bathroom stalls. Bringing your own water bottles. It was only a matter of time until vodka was involved. Glue sticks. There was a fad where people would throw glue sticks onto the ceilings all around the school. It became a big game about who can get one in the most bizarre place. Sharpies slash permanent markers. Senior year a group of kids organized a knife fight throughout the school. Basically the people participating would wear plain white shirts and be split into gangs. Each gang was armed with a different color marker. The goal was to stab people on other gangs as many times as possible. After a couple injuries and couple people who accidentally wore white that day, the administration got more than a little angry. Edit. Plain to plain. My third grade English teacher would be ashamed. Students weren't allowed to use the elevator after a couple was caught having sex in it. They banned scarves in my high school because apparently the first year principal got the idea in her head that only gang members wear scarves. The weirdest part was we lived in an upstate New York town that never had anything close to a gang problem. Long story short, every student protested by wearing scarves the next day. CNN caught wind of it, and my school got national attention for the first and last time. Shortly after that the principal was fired. Scarves were allowed again and everyone stopped wearing them like usual. TL Dr. Principal banned scarves. Got fired almost immediately after. Pokemon cards were banned at my elementary school. People complained about shitty trades and it was basically used as currency. One kid refused to comply. My teacher made him go buy a clear backpack. It was a private school so she apparently could do that shit. So she could check his shit without having to dig through it. Funny thing is I have no fucking idea why that kid kept bringing them when no one else in the school did. What the fuck were you doing with the Matthew? Edit. So apparently a Matthew, with a clear backpack, in the late 90s, that went to a private school 
who also happen to get Pokemon cards banned, is a super common thing on Reddit. Also many are curious this was in Colorado. Also Matthew clearly didn't have a problem finding a clear backpack because he had one the day after my shitty teacher told him to go buy one. Flipping pennies. Group of people would flip a penny and if it landed on the side you called out, you would cheer. If it didn't you still cheered. Administration said that this was being used as a distraction to the teachers so that fights could go on elsewhere without them knowing. One guy got suspended for penny flipping. My high school banned the word meep. You know like from the Muppets? Teachers thought meep was used to mean something else like something sexual. Nope. It was just funny to murmur it in the middle of class. Yoga pants, or so they tried. Me and a bunch of friends, we are all guys, got together and wore them to school the day that the ban was supposed to start. The administration seemed helplessly amused and were forced to lift the ban. In my elementary school, my friends used to play pretend to be addicted to drugs and addictive substances like alcohol and smoking. One student came up with the idea that cocaine was a lot similar to sugar. So students started smuggling sugar around the school. Some genius ended up putting Kool-Aid mix into his and then everyone started calling it happy crack. This underground kitty drug ring ran for about 4 to 5 weeks under the school's radar until a teacher caught two kids making a deal. Then everyone who was involved had to sit in a giant lecture in the cafeteria and listen to the principal explain that our happy crack was a gateway drug and that it would ruin our lives. TL. Doctor my elementary class made a drug and ran an underground ring across the school. School was not happy. Edit. Sweet baby Jesus, this blew up. Thanks for laughing at my childhood, guys. One of my teachers is very laid back but has a strict no phone rule, while he's teaching. Two kids decided to buy walkie talkies and bring them to class just to mess with the teacher. Now at the beginning of every year or semester he writes his cell phone policy on the board as well as his no walkie talkie rule, in capital letters. Dodgeball. Because most games in girls' gym classes usually ended up as a race war or cat fight. Tater tots were banned after Napoleon Dynamite came out. Apparently people kept hiding them in their pockets. Military recruiters in my high school are confined to having a booth in the hallway by the front entrance and walking around the cafeteria during lunch. They are not allowed to go into classes like many other schools, except the jock class. This is because few years before I started there, a Navy recruiter in a class started telling students about his sexual exploits while traveling around the world. Silly bands. So apparently a kid got hit by a giraffe in the eye and had to go to the hospital. Vending machines. Senior year. One nondescript day I noticed the candy machine wasn't completely locked. I thought, oh well, I got my Twix I'm good to go. A classmate was behind me and took notice that I had fiddled with the door a little and that it wasn't locked. By 9am the machine was empty. All hell broke loose. Announcement called all the seniors down to the cafeteria to condemn us for it. Catholic high school. They knew how to guilt. A couple of my classmates were blamed. The ones with stolen goods in their lockers. The rest of us didn't get to use the vending machines at our free periods the rest of the year. I probably could have snuffed the whole issue out quick by slamming the door to the machine. But 18 year old me didn't give a flying F. At graduation we all threw Hershey miniatures in memorial to the vending we lost. Glow sticks. Because at one of the dances, some kids were ripping them apart and throwing the chemicals over the crowd, resulting in some getting said chemicals in their eyes. They banned pogs at my elementary school. It's all fun and games until you play for keeps. We had a poop smasher incident that prohibited use of the bathrooms during lunch for an entire year. Edit. Alright, so, the poop smasher. One day, during lunch. The accused left the cafeteria to go to the bathroom. In an attempt to impress his comrades, he then squatted down and shat right in the middle of a styrofoam tray that had been laying on the ground. Since he believed that wasn't enough of a wow, he then took the tray and spread the contents all over the bathroom walls and the handles of the sinks. And that's how he was born. His name will forever remain in my heart. I love you. Poop Smasher. There was a brief ban on paper airplanes in 7th grade physics class. The teacher then challenged the class. If we could make 50 planes and land each one in the trash can from across the room, he would rescind it. Challenge accepted. Of course an airplane that is crumpled into a ball and sealed with tape is still a plane. After 25 went and he agreed that. 1. I was a smart ass. 2. The ban was rescinded. 3. I had better visit his class after graduating from engineering school. I am. It was. And I did. Our lockers in high school after someone set off a pipe bomb in his. In 8th grade, 
I was part of the first graduating class of a new school in my town, since it was just starting out, administration was still finding its way. Because of this, as the year passed, they banned glue, because of sniffing, sharpies, ditto, and vandalizing. Rubber bands, they were used to fire wasps, little pieces of paper, at each other. Tennis balls, chucked them at each other for some reason. Walking across the cafeteria, or switching tables, or even walking clockwise around the cafeteria, they decided you could only walk counterclockwise around it, to avoid students bumping into each other. And we had assigned seats. Silly bands, because of apparent gang association. Clothes with writing on it. One girl came to school with pants that said campus crew on the bum and the principal thought it was a subliminal message for can you screw? Edit. Many of the responses I'm getting are saying the principal is a pervert. I get it. He had to police the school somehow. But if a girl came to school without a shirt on, would you call him a pervert for telling her to wear a shirt? Not quite a ban. But when I was in high school, the school ceased the sale of all snacks and foods other than the standard lunch meals because there was a food fight that involved nearly everyone in the cafeteria and lasted the entire lunch period. Most of the administrators got hit with food in the cafeteria and all the surrounding halls were filthy. There was even a rumor that the lunch ladies kept supplying the fight with additional food. It was amazing. Winter jackets. I went to a pretty redneck high school, and those large, Puffy Carhartt jackets were a staple of the redneck winter wardrobe. Well one day some idiot in biology class decides that it would be a good idea to zip his jacket all the way up over his nose, pull his arms inside it, and smoke a bowl inside his jacket in the back of class. Obviously everyone could smell it, and he got caught. The administration banned the wearing of any winter jackets in class due to the incident. Usually not a big deal, except that the school population had outgrown our tiny, outdated building so we had some of those temporary trailer classrooms having to sit in one of those during first period in the middle of winter with no jacket after the heat had been turned off all night was a rare form of torture thanks idiot redneck stoner kid edit i agree with you all it was totally the administration who was to blame in this situation they just reacted without thinking it through i will add that some teachers were very understanding and would let us put coats on in the trailer when it was brutally cold in there hell it was just as cold for them too for picture day the administration banned students from wearing glasses in their school photos this was because the previous year about nine classes of students wore the same pair of glasses and passed them around until about 75 percent of the student body had taken a picture with those same glasses on it was pretty damn hilarious even if the kids needed their glasses they weren't allowed to wear them out of the fear that the same bifocal bonanza would happen again cheerleaders our team was caught giving guys blow jobs on the buses too often going to and from athletic events we weren't allowed to bring backpacks or bags of any kind to school during the last two weeks of the year due to a senior prank that involved water balloons filled with bleach, urine, and paint. Dressing up for Halloween, because some asshole had to come to school dressed as a dick. The bathroom. Some jackass found a way to shit in the water pipes. A couple years after I started high school. My former middle school banned lotion because a bold young chap was found servicing himself in the locker room. They posted no lotion signs all over the school. My high school stopped selling snacks, because a kid bought over 100 Pop-Tart packets and started giving them to random people. Smarties ended up being banned from my middle school because kids were crushing them up and snorting the powder. Edit these were in fact American's merits. Boxing, and I was the reason. This wise ass kid and I got into a fight, typical 7th grade bullshit. In those days, they'd drag you down to the school gym and lace the gloves on you, making you fight in front of the entire school during lunch hour. Anyone was welcome to watch, faculty, students, staff, whoever. So of course it always drew a crowd. The idea was that it would embarrass you both and that would stop the fighting. Wrong. I beat this kid so hard 30 plus years ago that I wouldn't be shocked if his grandkids are born with concussions. I'd knock him down and he'd get up, over and over. This went on until the hottest chick in the school, who must have been a junior or a senior, got between us and made us stop. He was still sitting on his ass trying to look up at me when the coach finally stopped it. Looking back, I can't believe they let kids fight like that. That being said I regret nothing. TL, Doctor I was a preteen Mike Tyson. Cupcakes, girl made batch of cupcakes and put in mustard, expired horseradish, mayonnaise, bits of hot dogs, boogers, nail clippings, and jizz. She gave it out to people who bullied her. Cum cakes. Edit, 
Jizz was from her homosexual friend. I grew up with this person. Wasn't really her friend but she did have a unique sense of style and is obese. Bouncy balls. A bunch of seniors in my high school dumped a few thousand bouncy balls in the main hallway during the time between the morning periods. Kids grabbed them. Started throwing them. There were reports of people getting injured. Though everyone suspected such reports were exaggerated. By the next day being caught with a bouncy ball was grounds for immediate suspension. This included holding one, passing one, tossing one, even just bouncing it outside. Stayed that way all year. Hazing the freshmen. Thanks a lot Dick who took them through a car wash in the back of his truck. Banned across the city after that day. No capes. I worked at a private school that required uniforms all week but Friday was casual day. It still had a dress code but it was very broadly defined. There was this one girl, 13 years old goth, who kept coming to school in the most bizarre outfits she could think of while still staying within the dress code. Everything she came up with for pushing the line would inevitably end up in a revision to the dress code because she found yet another loophole. Girls could wear skirts of a certain length, so she'd come in with fishnet thigh highs on. Another time it was heavy gothy black makeup. Other times it would be some bizarre hairstyle. Every time I struggled not to laugh. Finally she came in with a vampire cape her mother sewed for her. Black on the outside, red velvet inside, wide collar. It was freaking awesome. Between classes she'd hold it in front of her on one arm like Bela Lugosi as she made her way to her next class. Yep. Gloves were banned at my school because apparently gangs were wearing them on one hand as a gang sign.